Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. In this week's auto roundup, we delve into recent developments shaking up the automotive landscape. A cyber attack disrupts dealerships, China's EV industry eyes US growth, and Toyota Texas gears up for a massive expansion with 400 new jobs. Meanwhile, BMW launches its North American press shop and debuts the sleek new X3, while Bugatti unveils the breathtaking 1,800 horsepower tourbillon. Stay tuned for all the details ahead. Number 5. Cyber Attacks Disrupt Car Dealerships Nationwide CDK Global is grappling with a significant cyber incident that has disrupted operations across thousands of auto dealerships in the US and Canada last week. The company, headquartered near Chicago, provides essential software for vehicle sales, financing, and maintenance at over 15,000 retail locations. Following back-to-back -back cyber attacks, CDK shut down all systems as a precautionary measure. Despite efforts to restore core services like their dealer management systems, DMS, and digital retailing solutions, disruptions persist with no clear resolution timeline as of Friday morning. Customer care support remains unavailable, complicating efforts to address the outage. Major automakers like Stellantis and Ford confirmed some of their dealers were affected, leading to manual processes such as handwritten vehicle orders. Concerns about customer data security loom large amidst reports of phishing attempts targeting CDK affiliates. Amidst the uncertainty, the National Automobile Dealers Association emphasizes the importance of protecting customer information, urging vigilance and seeking clarity on the extent of the breach from CDK. Number 4. Toyota Texas Expands, Creating 400 New Jobs Toyota Texas is investing $531 million to expand its San Antonio facility, creating over 400 new jobs and dedicating a new 500,000-square-foot facility to drivetrain parts production, reaffirming its commitment to U.S. operations. Suzanne Kazunas, president of Toyota Texas, expressed enthusiasm for the growth opportunity and emphasized the team's capability, innovation, and dedication to product quality. With nearly two decades of operation, Toyota Texas has produced over 181,000 vehicles annually, with total plant investments exceeding $4.7 billion. Governor Greg Abbott praised Toyota's investment as a testament to Texas's business-friendly environment, low taxes, and skilled workforce, anticipating continued partnership for future growth. Mayor Ron Nirenberg celebrated the creation of over 400 stable, high-quality jobs in San Antonio and highlighted Toyota's commitment to community investment. This investment underscores Toyota Texas's adaptability with advanced manufacturing technologies across North America. Toyota Texas remains the exclusive producer of the Tundra truck and all-hybrid Sequoia SUV, inviting applications as it expands its workforce. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next update. Number 3. Liu Zhou's EV Industry Growth and U.S. Market Ambitions Liu Zhou, a city known for its automotive prowess, produced half a million EVs last year alone, underlining its status as a key player in China's electric vehicle revolution. Bolstered by government support and a robust industrial ecosystem, including over 300 supporting companies, Liu Zhou thrives on low production costs and skilled manpower, making it a formidable force in the global EV landscape. However, recent U.S. accusations of overcapacity and subsequent tariffs have cast a shadow over Liu Zhou's ambitions. Despite challenges, Chinese EV manufacturers like Wuling New Energy remain resilient, emphasizing competitive pricing and quality amid tariff uncertainties. As Liu Zhou eyes overseas markets, including potential ventures in the U.S., the future of Chinese EVs on the global stage hangs in balance amidst geopolitical tensions and economic strategies. Number 2. BMW's Milestone in North America and Unveiling of the New BMW X3 Celebrating its 30th anniversary in Spartanburg, South Carolina, 
BMW Manufacturing unveiled a state-of-the-art press shop dedicated to producing components for the new BMW X3 sports activity vehicle. Dr. Milan Nedelskovic, BMW AG board member for production, highlighted the milestone, emphasizing BMW's continued commitment to the U.S. market. The press shop's advanced stamping processes ensure top-quality body parts on-site, supporting BMW's strategy of local production for global resilience. With an investment exceeding $200 million, the 219,000-square-foot facility created over 200 jobs, enhancing local expertise in tooling, electrical, and mechanical maintenance. Governor Henry McMaster praised BMW's transformative impact on South Carolina's automotive sector. The press shop's inauguration coincided with the introduction of the fourth-generation BMW X3 and a special silver anniversary edition of the BMW X5, underscoring BMW's innovation and leadership in the SUV segment. The new press shop integrates cutting-edge technology, capable of stamping up to 10,000 parts daily, ensuring efficiency from coil line to final inspection. This expansion aligns with BMW's $1.7 billion investment in U.S. operations, including a new high-voltage battery plant in Woodruff, slated to support BMW's goal of assembling at least six fully electric models in the U.S. by 2030. Number 1. Bugatti's Tourbillon, a fusion of luxury and engineering excellence. Twenty years ago, Bugatti unveiled the Veyron, followed by the Chiron a dozen years later, now introducing the Tourbillon, a new epic in automotive excellence blending horological precision with hypercar performance. Priced at $4 million, this masterpiece boasts a 1,800-horsepower V16 engine paired with three electric motors, achieving 277 miles per hour. Crafted with over 600 pieces of titanium, billet aluminum, and crystal glass, its analog gauge cluster is a marvel of artistry akin to a Swiss watch. Concealed within the bespoke interior is a retractable high-definition screen, ensuring seamless integration without compromising elegance. Bugatti president Christophe Piochon emphasizes, every component of the tourbillon is a work of art, echoing Ettor Bugatti's vision. The name tourbillon symbolizes precision, derived from a gravity-defying device in high-end watches, reflecting Bugatti's commitment to craftsmanship. CEO Mate Remack explains, This car isn't just for now or the future, it's for eternity. Deviating from tradition, the tourbillon features a new 8.3-liter V16 engine and an innovative hybrid system. With an electric range of 37 miles, it blends power and efficiency, all housed in a chassis lighter than the Chiron's, thanks to advanced composite materials. Bugatti, under the Rimac Group, embarks on a new era with the Tourbillon, blending heritage with innovation. Prototypes are undergoing rigorous testing, with deliveries set to begin in 2026, catering to a select group of enthusiasts eager to own this pinnacle of automotive artistry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit for more automotive updates. See you next time.